Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, or Emily, who's to say, and I'm going to be reading the Percy Jackson series. I am filming this afterwards, um, <laughs> because that's just how it worked out, but, um, I can tell you it was a ride. There was laughing, there was crying, and, um, there was a lot. <laughs> I have never read the Percy Jackson series before. I have read the first two books and now I'm going to finally read all five of them together. I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I am planning on doing a few more like it in the future, um, just reading books or series that um, were kind of like a staple at some point um, that I still haven't gotten to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck going through my emotions. <laughs> hey guys, so the lighting's not great and I just took a shower because I felt gross. Um, but I'm at the halfway point in The Lightning Thief. <sighs> so I actually reached the halfway point, um, last night, probably around like 1am or something. Um, <laughs> but all day today I have been moving upstairs to my new room new to me so far i'm really liking it i'm liking that they're not shying away from like how whack the gods are chill i like that it's kind of truthful about the mythology it doesn't make them out to all be like the good guys you know so i'm halfway now i'm on page 188 out of like 375 and what I think is really funny is that I have read the first two books before but I remember absolutely nothing of what I'm reading it's hilarious I remember the movies because I've seen the movies they're not good but I've seen them and also I love Logan Lerman so you know but <laughs> I remember some of the things like oh yeah this happens in the movies I don't remember reading it at all We'll see if I remember the second half, and we'll see if I remember the second book. I'm going to continue reading, um, because I'm not doing anything else today. I am going to have to finish up some stuff tomorrow because, like, my jackets aren't up here. Even though it's freaking hot, I still need them up here. <laughs> um, and then, like, some pillows and stuff like that um, need to come up, and so I will bring those up tomorrow. Um, and I don't, like, I only have these hard copy. I don't have them on audiobooks, so I won't be listening to them. But, um, I will continue reading. And maybe, just maybe, I can finish this tomorrow. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so, I've just finished The Lightning Thief. It's the next day. I think I talked to you last, yesterday. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed it, actually. I just, I really liked it in general. There was obviously some stuff that I guessed ahead of time, like before it was announced, but technically I have read this before. Even though I remember absolutely nothing, I have read this before. <laughs> and I've also seen the movie, even though they differ, but like there are some themes where like, you know who the underlying bad guy is. And I also think there's enough foreshadowing that you're supposed to be able to guess it. It's not supposed to be like a huge surprise. Um, which I think is especially fun in middle grade because it makes you almost like feel smart. <laughs> like you're reading it and you're like, oh, the bad guy's this person or like this is what they need to do or this is the quest or something like that. And so I feel like it's nice to read books like that every once in a while because like it's almost like a little boost. Like, wow, you were able to guess that. Go you, you know? We have Sea of Monsters, um, which is considerably smaller. I don't know if I'll start this today. It's like seven something. I don't know if I'll start this today. We'll see if I remember anything from this book because I truly could not remember anything from this book. Okay, so. <laughs> um, it is the next day and I'm on page 86 in Sea of Monsters. Yeah, and I mean, I go through it pretty quickly. It feels, you know, easy, it's nice, it's good, it's chill. Um, but I think I'm just really not liking this one as much, um, and I hope it's not like that with the rest of the series. I don't know exactly what it is. I think part of it just, well, I mean, like, they're still at the camp, 
which like that's cool I guess but <laughs> I feel like I just want them to get going somewhere already but um I understand why they aren't and like I think they're about to leave or something like that also all of the negativity around Tyson is just kind of sad <laughs> like I get he's a Cyclops and Cyclops is Cyclopses, <laughs> um, like, aren't doing great things. Like, apparently they eat horses and people and they're not nice. I don't remember. Um, but like, you know, Tyson has proved that he's not that kind of guy. So I don't understand why everyone's still so negative towards him. It's just a lot of prejudice and it's kind of like, really? Because we also get to see Percy's side of it and it's so strange because a lot of it, it's like, he's not a monster, but also like, he's not my half-brother, I don't want him to be my half-brother, blah blah blah. And I don't know if it's like he's against Tyson as a Cyclops, or if he's like, Poseidon, what the heck, you know? It's, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of things where I'm just not totally loving it as much as the first one. I am still enjoying it, just not as much. Um, but I'm not a hundred pages in yet, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's a bit later, and I am now 53% through this. I'm liking it more. I think I was just done with the camp. Literally a few pages after I complained about it, they had left the camp. <laughs> um, I have, like, some questions, though. Percy, his powers are, like, chill in the ocean. You know, salt water, ocean water stuff. And then in fresh water, they're not as strong because Poseidon controls the sea, you know. But what I'm confused about, and I, I might be totally wrong, but isn't it like a creek that's next to Camp Half-Blood that like Percy stepped into? Or is it one that like connects to the ocean? Or is it fresh water? And then also at one point in the first book, Percy, uh, dumps like a bucket of ice water over his head right before a sword fight and that like energizes him and pump pumps him up and like I doubt that that was seawater <laughs> so I, I I'm just like a little bit confused because like I could see that all water gives him power but like the ocean water gives him more power but um like they were in the boat in seawater and then as soon as they got into fresh water he was like I'm so tired I've lost like he felt like he was having a sugar crash you know and so that's I'm just a little confused like where the line is and if I'm missing something we're understanding a little bit more why Annabeth really dislikes Tyson and it's because of something that happened to Talia we don't know exactly what happened I'm assuming Cyclopses did something to her that's what I'm guessing <laughs> but um we don't know what exactly but apparently like even if they weren't the ones like attacking her I guess they're like deceptive and cyclopses tend to lie or something like that so maybe a cyclops like lied to them and things got messed up or something I don't know pause on sea of monsters back to the lightning thief because I did not talk about it earlier something that like didn't really like register with me until I was trying to fall asleep last night was that in the end Percy gives his mom Medusa's head and is like if Gabe's being a jerk like you know and she's like nah I don't think so and then she writes him a letter later and she's like he made a nice statue <laughs> and I was like haha that's funny and then I was thinking about it as I was falling asleep and I was like she just killed someone. <laughs> like, a mortal, you know? Like, the monsters are one thing, you know? They, like, pop back up, whatever. But, like, she just killed a mortal. Which, like, he sucked. He was horrible. He was abusive in many different ways. But she still just kind of killed the guy. <laughs> Which just, like, seemed to be very brushed over. Like, I know that Gabe was, like, a real antagonist and he just was not a good person, but it was still kind of like, what? I'm done. <laughs> um, it's the next day, hence why I'm wearing the same clothes. Um, and it's 
9.31. So, that's pretty cool. I woke up pretty early um, to start reading this. I liked it a lot more in the second half. Tyson is better now, or like people are accepting him more. He was always good, but um, yeah. Also, the hippocampus and like rainbow, cutest thing ever. <laughs> There's so much going on, like with Talia and like how it could be her or it could be Percy and then like oh, there's so much going on and there's so much just like um, there's the immediate task at hand and the immediate problem and then there's like 20 different underlying problems and it's like dude and I'm understanding a little bit more there are five books in the series and we start off when he's 12 and he's 13 in this one so we end when he's 16 and that's when the prophecy is supposed to like do its thing Although, how old is Talia? Did she age along with the tree? Or did she come back in her former age? I'm assuming the fifth book is when both she and Percy will be turning 16. And so that's when we'll like really figure out when the prop, like what is going on with the prophecy and stuff like that. And so, yeah. It's making me like really excited for the fifth book. Um, not that I wasn't before, but like extra excited because we're gonna know what happens, you know? Are you focused? Not gonna run there you are. So I'm like 25% through this. Um, and yeah, it's good so far. You know, there's it's, it's the first one that I haven't seen the movie for because it doesn't exist. So it's interesting. <laughs> I feel like there was something I really wanted to talk about and I can't remember what that was now. Um, oh, Nico. Freaking cute. <laughs> like, with his little action figures and stuff like that. What did they, like, mythology magic? Myth I, I don't remember what the game is called, but it reminds me of Magic the Gathering, um, which I used to play, but I don't anymore because all the people that I knew who played it don't live near me so so it just reminded me of magic the gathering and i was like oh i haven't played them so long you know um and then uh, yeah there's a lot going on annabeth's gone which like kind of sucks because i really like annabeth i am happy though because at one point percy like calls his brother through like the iris messaging thingy and i was just like yeah bros <laughs> um what else is going on oh Demeter. Mmm. Artemis. Demeter. Is a totally different god, or that's the Roman name? These are things I should know, because I know these things. Is Artemis Diana? But the whole, like, the hunters things, like the woman eternal maiden thingy, um, it was kind of whack. I mean, like, it makes sense. I get it. But, like, she really hates dudes, and it's kind of like, dude <laughs> chill like we're all human you know <laughs> um i mean i guess she's not but whatever and like a chapter or two ago it was revealed that annabeth had one of the pamphlets in here in her backpack not in here you know I, technically in here moving on and grover was like it looks like she was interested in that and <laughs> percy was like i'm sad <laughs> he's like I don't know why I'm sad, but I'm sad. <laughs> and it's like, mm, Percy. Okay. You just slowly start to see the little things where it's like, mm, mm. Um, and I mean, they're 14 now. And so like, that's like high school age, right? Yeah, I was 14 in my freshman year. Also, Talia's in here. And so we get to see more of her. And it answered one of my previous questions. Um, Apollo was like there. And he was like, you're 15, you're about to turn 16 because he's the, he prophesizes things. <laughs> oh, one thing. Okay. This book, one thing I forgot to talk about and did only remembered right now, words tripping. Um, so Cersei's in this one and I just read Cersei and I was like, oh my God, you know, like cool, but also like scary as fuck. <laughs> um, Cersei's not a, like a nice character in this. She also hates men. Which, like, she doesn't even give him a chance. She's like, Percy, I see what you are. G 
guinea pig. Like, damn, girl. Like, okay. <laughs> and so I read Circe. I don't know when I read it. Uh, March? Yeah. Mm, yeah. March. Um, and I did not realize now because I can't read, you know? Um, I mean, I can because that's what my channel's about. But I also can't. I'm very bad at reading sometimes. I just realized now that the monster with like the multiple heads named Scylla, it's like, I can't even remember how to spell it now, S-C-Y-L-L-A or it's S-C-L-L-Y-A, something like that. This entire time I've read it as silica, as in like silica gel, <laughs> spelled differently but that's how I like thought it was said. And only reading this did I actually realize that I was reading it wrong. And I felt really stupid. You know what, actually, we're gonna do something. We're gonna check Cersei because sometimes names are different. Maybe I'm not stupid. Where'd it go? Over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna like find the name somehow. She was in the beginning, right? Cause she was the bitch. Why is this so hard? Eh, no, a little later, a little later. No, never mind. I found it. I'm just stupid. And yeah. I went through all that trouble just to prove that I'm stupid. I can't read. <laughs> and like, just, it's very upsetting. I mix up letters a lot and numbers and stuff like that too. And there's a lot of talk about ADHD and dyslexia in here as well, which I can't remember if I was diagnosed with ADHD or ADD. <laughs> You'd think that's something that I would remember, but I don't. <laughs> I think it's ADHD. Yeah, I think that's kind of interesting that, um, you know, because also I bet you there was a ton, I don't know about a ton, I bet you there was like a group <laughs> of kids who read these and were like, I have ADHD or I have dyslexia or both or something like that. And they were like, I could be a half-blood, you know? And like, even though they're like, okay, well, I'm not. Like, they get to see that these heroes, they still have these things that inhibit them from doing certain things. And so it's kind of like a nice message, I guess. Anyways, the Titan's Curse. Um, there's so much going on. And I'm really sad because Annabeth's not here. And I feel like I'm oddly confused about everything that's going on, but I know what's going on. It's a very weird feeling. Like, there's there's stuff going on that's not, like, great. You know, like, danger stuff. But, I, I don't know. I'm just, like, I think I just need to get further into it. I can probably make it halfway. I think I have less than 100 pages until halfway. So, hopefully I can get there. It's, it's 4.30 right now. So. That's good. We're fine. We're chilling. Okay, so I am now halfway through the Titan's Curse. <sighs> There's so much. I don't know why, but I'm not necessarily enjoying it, but I also really am. Um, when I'm reading it, I like it. I am getting kind of anxious, but that's just because there's a lot going on. Um, but whenever I'm like about to read it, like, oh, I should read that right now. I don't want to. I'm liking it, but I think I'm just, I think I'm just getting kind of antsy. Also, Annabeth isn't here. I mean, she's like in some of Percy's dreams, but I like where it's going though and where we're finding out more. Just found out about like Zoe Nightingale, Nightshade, and like why she hates Percy's sword and like why she's so bitter and everything. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and so we're getting like some more backstory on that. We're getting to know what's going on with Talia a little bit more. I think I'm just gonna keep reading. Um, I might get a snack, cause I'm kinda hungry. So we're done with this book. I cried. I freaking cried because it was sad. Zoe, like, like I'll admit in the beginning, I'm kind of like, what's this girl's problem? But the more you learn about her, like it's, it's just in like the Hercules and ah, mm, so good, so good. 
I just, I, mm. I think something I haven't talked about before is, yeah, it's a, like, it has a bunch of mythology in it, which is cool, but I love how it's in here and how it's like, oh, that's, like, Hercules, or oh, that's Atlas, and, like, all these different myths are showing up, like, with Circe and Scylla, Scylla, yes, I was like, is it Silica? No, because you're stupid. Their, like, stories, um, were in Sea of Monsters, and that was just, like, so interesting. I freaking loved it, and I loved how they were, like, included, and I think it's just something that's done really well, all of, like, the little things, the tie-ins, it's great. I love it. I think it was also, like, just a little bit stressful. I was like, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna die? Someone's gonna die. I don't know what's gonna happen, and the prophecy was like, two people are gonna die, and I was like, and then they did, and it's like, uh. also, I knew it was going to be Talia who went with the Huntresses. I knew it. I just knew it. She was too mad at them in the beginning for it not to happen later. What is it? Bessie? What is it? It's like Ophio, Ophio Taurus? I don't want to have to look for it. <laughs> um, Bessie freaking loved Bessie at first. I was like, oh no, Bessie's gonna be evil. Bessie's gonna be evil. And I was like really nervous because <laughs> I was like, he's so cute, but he's gonna be evil. And then he wasn't. And I was like, thank God. But he's also really freaking important. Um, also cows are my favorite animal. So I was like, cool. <laughs> um, but coincidentally, eels are my least favorite animal. They scare the frick out of me. So it's like a very weird combination for me. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna picture it not as an eel, but just like sea serpent. Two different things. Yeah, also, what was Rachel Elizabeth Dare or something like that? Cool last name, by the way. Um, but Rachel Elizabeth, Rachel Elizabeth Dare is the, I almost said muggle, is the mortal human person who can like see through the mist, kind of like Percy's mom. And she helped out Percy and like, she, when it happened, I was like, wow, we need to find out more about this girl. I wonder when she's going to come back. And she's mentioned again, and then she's mentioned again a little bit later, like very near the end of the book. And so I'm like, is it just a tie-in, like some mortals will like, you know, be able to see through it, I guess? Or is it like, like she's going to have like a place in the books later on? Like, you know, like, is she going to be an important character? Or was she just an offhand person, you know? Like, I really enjoyed it, but I think, like, the camp drama is always what kind of gets me, and I'm like, mm. But then once things start, like, going elsewhere, we're good. Also, um, ooh, there was something I was gonna say. Okay, I remembered something that I completely forgot to talk to you about twice. When they first picked up Bianca and Nico, D'Angelo, I was like, okay, you know, they're gonna be the children of like a super powerful god or something like it's gonna be like epic and my first thought was Hades and then I was like no because he was so pissed at Zeus and Poseidon for breaking the I want to say pact but that's not the word they used <laughs> um thing <laughs> um that I don't think he would have done it you know because he was like really not happy about that and then we find out that they were stuck in the Lotus Lounge, the Lotus Hotel, something like that, for like 70 years. <laughs> and then I was like, that agreement was after World War II. They were born before then. And I was like, they're Hades kids. They are Hades kids. I know it. And then when she was the only one that could like stab and like defeat the skeleton guy, I was like, got it, we're solid. She's Hades kid. Um, and then, in the end, the kid, Nico, he like goes with the earth and then they fall and then they die, you know? Hades kid. And then Percy comes to that conclusion and I was like, dude, I was right. I knew it. And then I was like, why didn't I record this earlier? <laughs> like, I had an inkling. I had a thought. And then I don't think I said anything about it. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Which just makes me so mad because like I really that was like really a guess of mine. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like really bad about it. You know, I feel bad because Percy, of course, didn't want her to die. He wanted to protect her, but he couldn't do anything at the moment. 
And then now Nico's like mad at him. That was sad. I almost cried again for that part. Did I tell you why I cried? I cried because Zoe died. It was freaking sad. <laughs> and she just kept talking about the stars and like stars, hummingbird. Okay, my attention span, non-existent. Um, but like stars are a super big thing for me. I made a quilt and then I just like sewed a bunch of stars into it. Um, I had glow in the dark stars on my ceiling. I've considered putting them back up um, in this room. I just love stars and the moon. Mm, so good. Artemis, great. And then when Zoe dies, she's like, I can't see the stars. I can't see the stars. And then in the end, she's like, the stars. I can see the stars. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then she gets turned into a freaking constellation. So good. So freaking good. Okay, so whack. Um, I was just watching, what is it? Mm, Ishii Time is doing the Olympic Games Readathon um, in June. And I was just watching it because I was like, that sounds cool. Also, because I'm reading Percy Jackson right now. So like, fun. <laughs> um, and she's explaining Athena, who is my cabin house person. Um, God. <laughs> And the last prompt, I can't read it because it's really small, but she just said it, um, is like Daedalus um, betrayed Athena's trust or something like that. And she marked him with a partridge, like a brand. And I was like, damn, that's rough. And then I was like, wait, what? what is his name? I don't remember his name. It was, I feel like it started with a G. Quintus. Never mind. It's a Q. <laughs> At one point, Percy sees like he has this little mark on him, and then he remarks that it looks like a bird. And I was like, okay, don't fucking remember anything about that. So I'm just like, you know. But then she explained that in the video, or she said that prompt, and I was like, Quentin is Daedalus. He's gotta be. Which is why he's hanging around the freaking entrance to the labyrinth. So maybe he's not evil. Okay, so I think the last time we talked, I was probably like 20 pages back from where I am now. Because I haven't read anything. I mean, I did read and I'm pretty sure I didn't update you. I am still not yet halfway through. Yeah, so I'm, where am I? I'm on page two, no, I wish. I'm on page 122, which halfway is 186, 187. So I got a bit to go. Definitely going to get to halfway at least today. I'll finish it tomorrow. Definitely, I need to. <laughs> and then I'll start the Last Olympian, is that the other one? Yeah, I'll start The Last Olympian tomorrow as well and hopefully finish it early on Sunday. <laughs> okay, so I didn't check in at halfway because I got there earlier today um, instead of yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's fun. Um, and I'm not even done with it yet. I think I still have like 60 pages, but I just had like truly did not see this coming. The body in the coffin is Luke's. Oh my God. <laughs> also, I was right about the Daedalus thing. Um, it was Quintus and then um, Rachel, crap, Rachel Elizabeth Dare. Um, what? She, she comes back, she's helping them, guide them, because she can, like, see through the mist and shit. Um, but, like, it hasn't been said yet, but I'm pretty sure she's the daughter of, like, someone famous. Um, because, I don't know, that's just, like, what I'm getting, you know? Um, how, like, the chauffeur treated her and, like, how, why she's so evasive about it, um. And, like, why her parents wouldn't care if she's got nothing that, like, famous people don't care about their kids. Was there something earlier said about, like, an honor? Was- is that, like, the great honor? Like, 
Cronus is going to use uh, Luke's body. I feel like there was something like that where Luke was like going to be a big part of it and he was very important and stuff. I have also made the executive decision to get the audiobook for the last book. So yeah, that's my plan. Um, I'm going to continue reading this because I'm freaking hooked. Also, this book got interesting like two chapters before halfway. I was impressed. <laughs> I sound kind of like an asshole, but um, I mean, I'm actually being genuine. Like, I'm glad that it happened before halfway. <laughs> also, I read a different book in between this. Don't get worried. Hold on. I read <laughs> The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. It's a picture book format. Um, so literally, like, the entire poem is in this, but it's like a line, maybe two. There's the line. There's the spread. <laughs> yeah, so I read this. So I basically, I read a poem, but it's in book form. And I read the pictures because y you still read art. One thing I noticed he says a lot, and at first I liked it, but now I'm kind of just like, does he just not realize he's like writing this over and over and over again? Or does it like mean something, you know? Um, the thing, like, especially when talking to specific gods, it's like Percy will be thinking something in his head and then the god will like sort of answer his question um, or like say your word about this or like just do this blah 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 and then Percy's like Hephaestus said blah 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 as if he could read my mind. That has been said, not specifically Hephaestus, but um basically anything <laughs> that has been said so many times and like it's been said so many times to the point where I'm like can they read your mind like I can't even think of another way to really say that but I just feel like it's said a lot my camera battery looks a little bit low but we're gonna be quick I should take this out I can do that after I'm done <laughs> um cried a little bit it was really sad near the end with one of the Apollo kids and Dionysus's son and Daedalus. I'm sad. <laughs> so much freaking happened. I love that Tyson is hanging out with Percy. <laughs> and I love that Poseidon came back. Or I guess back, but like he came for Percy's birthday party. And talk to him a little bit like that was so sweet and I want to know how the sand dollar is gonna come into play um because I feel like it would have to be something sea related but it may not Nico Nico D'Angelo it just what a I feel so bad I totally must have skipped over this but I didn't know that they didn't have a cabin for Hades like I guess I just missed it somehow um like, I love Athena. Athena's, like, up there, you know? But I also really like Hades because he's done some questionable stuff. And I'm not talking about, like, in the books. I'm talking about just, like, in Greek mythology. Like, definitely. But honestly, like, you look at what Hades has done and you look at what Zeus has done and you're like... Like, Zeus is... Mm -mm. I've always kind of liked Hades because he was, like, the underdog and like a little bit misunderstood but he actually wasn't a bad person you know I mean well it's questionable the whole Persephone thing is very confusing <laughs> um because it changes in a lot of stories but yeah I've always really liked Hades and I love Persephone and it was so funny because I like pomegranates, like just in general, but also pomegranates are like my favorite thing to paint. And then my favorite flowers are daffodils. And I found out that Persephone's favorite flowers are daffodils or like, they're like her flower sort of thing. But yeah, so, so much has happened. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> this was good. Did I struggle through it? Hell yes. Is that just because I'm moody? Hell yes. Okay, so it is Sunday. I'm kind of a mess. It's okay. 
Um, I'm halfway through The Last Olympian. I've been listening to it and then reading along when I can. I think I'm listening at 2.5 speed right now. So much is going on. So I didn't have the problem that I had with um, the other books, which kind of makes me like, damn, did I really need to get the audiobook for this one? Because you basically don't have to deal with the camp drama. Like things start off right from the beginning. There's a little bit of slowness, like maybe in little parts in the beginning, but a little bit. It's not like how the other books, it was like about halfway through things got really interesting. And it's so crazy that we're like at a high point in the battle right now. Well, I don't know if it's a high point, but it's like, you know, things are getting serious. And Selena, what's her last name? I want to say Beauregard, but I feel like that's not right. <laughs> um, is like, he just called per she just called Percy and he's like, you better come quick, bring a healer, it's Annabeth. And I was like, god damn it. So it's super interesting. Also, I'm really liking the audiobook. It's a little bit weird because obviously it's a little bit more high pitched um, than the original because it's faster. I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, so Selena just died, but I knew she was the traitor. Why I don't see these things before? I don't know. When she was the one who left to rally the Ares cabin, like even though she was friends with Clarice, for some reason I was like, she's the traitor. I couldn't see her doing anything necessarily bad, you know? Like I couldn't, like, would she just not get the Ares cabin, you know? Um, but it made a lot more sense when she explained like uh, the whole history behind it. Um, and I was like, okay, so she wasn't like evil. She was just, well, she was tricked. Clarice is on the fucking warpath. Um, it's honestly pretty cool. <laughs> I'm, so where does that leave me? I'm on chapter 17 out of 23. Wow. My dad made some bread and I'm gonna eat it because it looks yummy and I'm gonna read. So I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, I might look like shit. <laughs> But I cried a lot. Five fucking stars. I think, and I did not, like, I got spoiled. I knew that Luke was gonna die. That's what I had heard, you know. But <laughs> I didn't think I was really gonna care that much. Or, like, I thought it was gonna be, like, fully in Kronos' body. And then, like, Kronos would die. And then, um, people would, like, go back to Luke's body and be like, Oh yeah, Luke's dead now. No, no, it wasn't like that. And Luke was the hero. That was so sweet. I'm glad that Rachel Elizabeth Dare played such an important role later on. Um, and I'm glad just the how everything happened. Um, I thought it was funny, you know? Because there were so many times where I was like, do just tell her or something like that, Percy to uh, Annabeth. But then it was also like, that's not how it freaking works. People are nervous as hell. It takes five books. <laughs> I still can't get over Percy's um, gift, the like to have all of the um, demigods recognized and have all of the minor gods have um, cabins there and Hades, which I was so shocked. I didn't even know that he wasn't recognized. You know, there, like, I never thought of him as not an Olympian, you know? Um, you know, I just never thought of him as that, like, as other, I guess. And so I was just, like, shocked when I found out that he wasn't, you know? Luke's death just really got to me. <laughs> with his mom and with Hermes and Hades, like... Like, Hades did some bad shit. He, the prophecy girl, and just... Oh my god. There was so much going on. Hestia? Great person. Love her. You know? <laughs> She's great. I'm so tired now. I look really bad. So much has happened. Okay, so I'm just gonna sum up my thoughts a little bit because it's like half an hour later and I'm trying to look more presentable. <laughs> I finished the Percy Jackson series and in finishing this and reading the Robert Frost uh, picture book poem thing, I finished my Goodreads goal in the second week of May, <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, I, I did struggle through this a lot. <laughs> 
but um, I think it's just not usually how I read books and I will adjust my ways in future videos like this because trust me there are plenty of other books that so many other people have read and I have not. Even though I'll talk about it in my wrap up, just want to really quickly explain it here. The first one I gave four stars. I really enjoyed this one. I liked it a lot. It just wasn't quite a five star read for me. The second one I also gave four stars. I had a bit of trouble in the first half, um, but the second half was way better. And for me, it made up for the first half. Like not that the first half was bad. I just couldn't get fully into it four stars. In the third book, I had the same halfway issue, um, but there was a lot that I did enjoy in the first half. It just uh, was still not quite as engaging as I wanted it to be. And then the second half just blew me away. I gave this one five stars. It had so many elements that I enjoyed, like the hunters, Zoe and Bianca um, and Nico in there. It was just a lot of... Um, really interesting elements. I really enjoyed it. The fourth one I also gave five stars. I think it was a really cool thing that a lot of the book was inside the labyrinth because in plays and movies and stuff like that it's really hard to not have like more than one scene take place in the same area consecutively because it can end up feeling really stagnant. Granted the labyrinth is like five million different places in one but it was still interesting. It wasn't like, well, here we are in the labyrinth again. Like, the only reason it felt like that is because, like, I want to get the fuck out of the labyrinth because it was scary. <laughs> I also gave this one five stars. I still had the thing where I struggled through the first half, but um, I started getting more interested in it a little bit earlier on. And the fifth book, I also gave five stars. I absolutely loved this book. It was action-packed from the very beginning, and I really enjoyed it. I was... It was so intense <laughs> the entire time and I love that for it. So that is me reading the Percy Jackson series. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give a like and leave comments on some of your favorite things that happened in the Percy Jackson series or even the saddest things. <laughs> Just comments on the Percy Jackson series if you want to talk about it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I am planning on making more videos like this. They might be a little bit different just so they're not always um, 40 minutes long. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this or other videos from me, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.